When Livingston New Town appointed Dennis Barnes as its official town artist, it gave him this old builder's yard as a base, along with a fistful of problems. How to produce useful, amusing town art with a zero budget. Dennis has a team of willing youngsters recruited under the job creation scheme, and they have to use free materials like these old trees, or fabric that's already paid for, like the actual bricks and mortar, timber and tarmac of the new town. This area in Livingston is uh, where I first was invited by the architects to get involved in uh, the town art process. And because there was no budget, uh, because I had just arrived in Livingston two years ago, I simply had to use the materials available on the building site, which was a part of um, the reason for appoint appointing a town artist to work in the built environment. And what I did simply was to look at the area, uh, look at these small courtyards here, and use the existing material, the sets, the bricks on the wall, working with the labourers, working with the, the, the site people, and readjusting the, the materials which would have been here in a normal sort of bland situation, making wee sculptured heaps, uh, wee patterns in line that the kids could play with. And on walls, simply uh, working with the brick layers, making patterns. This is another small courtyard in the Howden area where we've used the brick mural technique again. And in this one, we've used two different colours of brick, bringing out some of the brick in relief, and the kids can use it as a climbing wall. This sculpture is intended as a kind of community totem. Uh, the idea behind it is simply that uh, on a main footpath, a north-south footpath like this, people will be able to identify their houses by referring to it. The, the main district road is just up there with a bus stop, and uh, the philosophy is simply that people could say to their friends, if you get off at uh, the bus stop near the big totem pole, my house is sort of next door to it. When the industrial architects saw what we'd been doing, they decided that it was about time we got involved in, in wee factories. So they asked us to get involved in this area here. This factory project was at a very early stage, um, just a construction stage, basically. And they gave me carte blanche on the colour relationships, uh, bearing in mind the fact that I was only allowed to use what had been specified in the build, the basic render, the basic colours, uh, the basic material for the doors. And what I thought was, well, people going to factories uh, in the morning, going to work and so on, we should cheer them up a bit. And this is, in fact, the result. Uh, large numbers in the doors, a bit of fun again, a throwback to perhaps the, the graphic uh, one, two, ABC 123 on the wall. This underpass is an example of the kind of thing we've been doing under the government-sponsored job creations programme. Under this we've employed uh, nine or ten school leavers um, intentionally to remove graffiti, which occasionally does get deposited on underpasses. Uh, what we didn't tell the, the government body was that we were going to paint murals instead, but once they found out they were quite happy about it. Uh, we found that uh, tenant response has been excellent to this kind of uh, figurative treatment, uh, you know, the kind of response we've had back. That we, in fact, the, complaints, the kind of complaints we get are that we don't get enough of this kind of thing.